In the previous example, some of the points were at infinity. In uh, this example, we are going to consider a case where one of the mapped point points are at infinity, like this. So we have three points here, uh, set 1 equal to minus 1, set 2 equal to i, and set 3 equal to 1 here. Uh, we can place this, uh, these points on a circle. And the mapped points are uh, w1 equal to 0, w2 equal to i, and w3 at infinity. We are using the general formula as above for, the, for finding the Möbius transform. Uh, but in this case, we rearrange, rearrange the left-hand side of this uh, identity, this equation, uh, in such a way that uh, the largest value, W3, is placed in only one quotient. And doing the same trick as before, we divide uh, both the top and bottom with uh, W3 and let W3 go to infinity and it, we uh, understand that this uh, fraction is then approaching 1. So we replace this fraction by 1. Then we uh, insert the other points W0 equal to W1 equal to 0, uh, W2 is here, it's equal to I and we have uh, this point 0 here, um, W1 is 0, and we also insert the set points. Set 1 is minus 1, um, we have uh, set 2 here is I, and set 3 is 1. Um, so this is a rather easy equation to 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 solve. Um, we are changing uh, this fraction with uh, the fraction we are obtaining by uh, multiplying the top and bottom with the uh, conjugate of the bottom, and then we obtain this. Uh, this fraction which is very easy 1 plus 2 i minus 1 over 2 so this is only 2 uh, i and i is multiplied with this i uh, giving us minus 1 so w turns out to be equal to this um, Möbius uh, transform set plus 1 over 1 minus set so these points, these three points, were mapped onto the line here, 0, i, and infinity. Uh, as before, we want to know if the points interior to this circle is mapped onto the left, um, left side of this line or the right side of the line. So let's find this out. It's rather easy because we can take only one point here and map this point and see if it's on the left hand side or right hand side. So let's take the point zero. F of zero is, we, put, we, we uh, substitute set here with zero and obtain one over one is equal to one. So we see that this point zero is mapped into the point 1, which is on the right-hand side uh, of this imaginary axis. So all these points interior to the circle is mapped or mapped onto the half plane. And therefore all points exterior to this circle must be mapped to the left uh, side of the imaginary axis. So the left half plane.